Let's look at the distributive law with division. When we're faced with something like this, it's, and asked to simplify it, it's very tempting just to cancel the 3x with the 3x. But just like we saw, for example, when we had something like 5, you know, x plus 2, that we had to distribute the 5 to both of the terms in the bracket, it's exactly the same here, that this 3x has to divide into the 12x squared and also into the 3x. So, to make it completely clear, I'm going to say this 12x squared needs to be divided by the 3x, and this 3x needs to be divided by the 3x. Doing this division is quite easy because we've been practicing this, right? We look at the numbers, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and x squared over x is just going to give you x. And this one, minus 3, um, we're subtracting, and then we have 3x over 3x, and that's just going to be 1. So our answer is 4x minus 1. One last thing I want to point out is that if we have a look at these two things, although they look quite similar, they're very different, because here you have a plus at the top, so you've got two separate terms and this thing at the bottom needs to then be distributed to each of those terms. Whereas this one, just everything at the top is multiplied together so it in fact can all be combined to be one single term and so you don't need to use the distributive law for this one. Let me just go through each of them separately so that we see. So here you do need to distribute this to each of the terms at the top because you've got a plus and it would also work if you had a minus. So we distribute this to each of the terms from the top and then we do our division. 4 over 2 is 2. x squared over x squared is 1. y cubed over y squared is y. 6 over 2 is 3 x cubed over x squared is x, and y to the 6 over y squared is y to the 4. This one, in contrast, is very different because you've just got everything multiplied together at the top. So you don't have two separate terms that you need to distribute this into. So you're simply going to just go straight into the division. So 2 divides into 2 and into 4, it goes twice x squared and x squared will cancel with each other and this y squared we can cancel with this just leaving one lot of y and so what we will be left with there at the top is a 2 times a y times a 6 times the x cubed and the y to the 6 and we can simplify that all down to be 12 x cubed and then y to the 7. So the important thing to note is, if you've got a plus or a minus, you get two separate terms and you've got to distribute in. But if you've just got everything multiplied together, you don't have to do that.